Yes, welcome everybody. This is Sep the Web with another Flatsum video tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about colors. Um, as you can see, I already opened up a color palette and I'm going to explain how to modify, change your theme, main colors to, uh, to integrate your corporate identity, your branding or something totally new. Uh, this is one of our basic videos in the basic playlist. So really good if you're just starting with Flatsum. Um, let's get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to work with on a, one of our Flatsum templates. So we are creating pre-made designs uh, for Flatsum. So if you're just starting, uh, this can be a really good way to get a professional design. Um, I'm just going to choose one of our templates, Snuff in this case. And as you can see, Snuff is one of our vibrant uh, templates. It has a lot of colors uh, inside. It's really focused on e-commerce. And I think this is a good starting point for me to explain you uh, how we did this and how we are modifying uh, colors inside the Flatsum, Flatsum theme. So we having a bunch of colors, as you can see, we're working with a dark navy color uh, as, our, as our, you know, our foundation. And on top of that, we are working with accent colors to make it more vibrant, like the green, as you can see here on the right, we're having a, a little bit of a, it's a bit, it's a red mix mixture between red and pink uh, for our you know alert or something like a promotion or sale, and we having the green for conversion because that that's a color that just really works well to get people to click on the you know add to cart button or or on checkout for example. Um, yeah, and I'm going to show you where we have set up all this, but I also want to show you quickly that we are working with Figma all the time for any kind of project. And we are starting always with a color palette. So let's open up Snuff. So this is our template board. And as you can see, these are the colors that we also used for our template. So this gives us a nice way already to see if the colors are uh, nicely working together before placing it all inside our Flatsome theme options. Um, but I have said enough already about the colors, but as you can see, those are the same. Um, once we have created this color palette, we're going inside our Flatsum project, and we already did this, of course, but here at the Flatsum theme options, going to style and then going to colors. This is where the magic happens. Um, we have a bunch of settings here, but the most important are the main colors. So we're having an option to set up, set up a primary color, secondary color, a success color, and an alert color. Um, success and alert, you won't really see that a lot, meaning uh, you can, of course, select it inside your UX builder, but there's not, uh, sometimes you have a notification uh, in Flatsum or an alert notification, uh, and then those colors will be used. So in an ideal situation, we always try to have that success color uh, or a nice green color or a blue or, or like a positive color. And we all, all always um, using the alert color to be a kind of a um, negative or a promotion like the, the red color. So we try in most cases, try to make use of um, that it just makes sense in a way. And then we have the primary color here and the secondary, secondary color set up to be also green in this case and, uh, and our yellow because we always like because these colors will be at our disposal inside our UX builder. So we are, we like to uh, uh, insert as many colors as possible, as many different colors as possible. Because as I am going to quickly show you, if I'm opening up this project, so in, in this specific page as well, inside the UX builder, clicking, for example, on a section here, you can see by just hovering, you can see a little tooltip, and then you can see those colors uh, at our disposal. So you can quickly, you know, change it. Unfortunately, you don't see the alert color, so that's uh, that's a thing that I'm missing. You will always have black and white at your disposal. That's just by default. But you will have the first three colors, so primary, secondary, and success um, available. Also, those colors that you've just set up. Uh, so the primary, secondary, and success will be also available as a button color. So I'm just going to click on one of our buttons. And here you don't see a color uh, preview, but you do see it text-wise saying primary, secondary alert, success, and white. So those are referring 
to the same um, colors as you can see here that you have just set up. I uh, hope that makes sense. One last thing that I wanted to explain you as well is that you can change any kind of text and then also working with your primary or secondary color. And how this works is just by having a text box, double click on it and then select any kind of text and then clicking on formats and then going to text color. And then you can also say primary. And as you can see, it has been changed to green, but you can also change the color to alert. And then it's red, as you can see. So that's a really easy way to make use of that color palette you, that you've just set up, making sure that it you know matches your branding identity. And by any if by any reason you want to you know update a specific color, you don't need to change that because a lot of people you know making use of the text color option here, but then you need to manually update it on every single page uh, if you have done it like that. But when you're working with the text color option you make use of the primary or your main color palette. And then when you change it here, it will be changed everywhere. So I prefer working like that. Um, I'm just going, going ahead, talking a little bit about the color options below. So here it has everything to do with type. So with text, your base color will be this specific color. So all the paragraphs that are inside your website and then the headline color will be this specific part. So your headlines H1, H2, H3, uh, that will be used in most cases for SEO reasons. We have a divider color that we don't really use a lot, but that's a little stroke that is inside a lot of elements inside Flatsom. Um, scrolling a little bit down, we have chosen not to uh, highlight our link colors, but in many of our projects, we do make that link color standing out because um it just makes it much more intuitive for the visitor to see that you're that it's possible to click on something we also have the widget link colors to set to be that navy dark color but i'm going to explain you why we have done this going to for example our products these are our widgets it's a sidebar but those are widgets and we like to work with that dark navy blue instead of green. But I'm going to show you if we if we would work with that green color for our widget link colors. Saving it. And now refreshing this page. You can see those widget links are green now. So those are referring to this specific widget link. So I think that covers it. Scrolling a little bit down, we have our shop colors, and these are quite important if you're working with e-commerce, with WooCommerce, your plugin. And those won't be only those will only be available if you have the WooCommerce plugin activated. If you don't, you don't see this section at all. Uh, we have the add to cart button, um, and like I said in the beginning, it's very important to get a nice, positive, highly converting color. Working with green, orange, or blue, those are the most uh, most used colors uh, for e-commerce and I'm just going to show you it's this specific add to cart button and not only the add to cart also uh, this checkout button as you can see so all our you know very important buttons are in this way uh, uh, green then we have the sale bubble it's red and as you can see here already it's nicely um, like promotion promotion wise it's standing out we have a new bubble so uh, we don't really think this is important but if, if you have new items with one of our the last latest flat some updates the new bubble will be automatically showed if it's just um if it's just been added uh we have a custom bubble um going to quickly show you the custom bubble as well so you know everything um after this tutorial, going inside a product, going to click on edit product, and you have an option here at the extra section to have a custom bubble. You need to first enable it and then type any kind of text that you would like. And then you see something like this hot. So that's that custom bubble. We have the review stars. Uh, it's nice because um, you can see that already in our testimonial bubbles here. So those are the same stars, star colors that will be used on products as well. So going to a product and this specific product doesn't have reviews, 
but as you can see you can leave your reviews and they're these nice yellow color we have the regular price and the sale price set up to be the dark navy color uh, to keep it like that as you can see we have not changed that um so that's it so i think that covers all the the, the color settings inside the flats on team options i have explained you a little bit how you can also uh, change text and set your primary or secondary color but if, let's say for any kind of reason you want to you know uh, change the color of a specific button that doesn't include one of these colors i'm just going to quickly show you how to add a, cust a little bit of custom css i'm going to open up the ux builder i'm going to click on one of those buttons and let's say i just want to have a color that is something different than one of those four so I'm going to click on the button, scroll all the way down, and I have already done this. I set purple because I want to add purple to, 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 to make this button uh, like a different color. I'm going to close this, and if you have a plugin to add custom CSS, make use of that. But there's a very easy way inside Flatsome. Going to Flatsome Advanced. And then here you can just add the customs uh, section here. You can go to all screens because I'm in this case, I want to have that button color available for all my screens and not only for tablet and mobile. And then I'm going to say purple with a dot, closing it. You need to have a little bit of experience with CSS to understand how this works. And then I'm going to say background color. I need a nice purple color. So let's use the Septilla Web Purple. With the hashtag, of course, making it important because we want to overrule our primary color. Save all changes. I'm going to close my UX builder. And now, as you can see, that button is nicely purple. So that's a way to overrule uh, one of those four colors and make use of any kind of custom color. So uh, I think that covers it. Uh, again, we are making use of one of our templates for this specific tutorial. So if you like it, and you want to, uh, you know, use make use of one of our designs. You can easily integrate this in an existing website, or maybe if you're just starting with Flatsome, you can, uh, you know, purchase our templates, and you will get um, access to our member area and all our files. And this is lifetime, and you can use it for any kind of project. Um, so, thank you for watching, and good luck with your Flatsome project. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.